Hundreds of undocumented Im immigrants and activist groups protested outside the Supreme Court today in federal courthouses across the nation, and that includes McAllen. Some are telling CBS 4's Freddie Vela the fear of deportation is overwhelming. Ya basta, quiten esa, esa traba, quitenla. Families gathering today in front of the federal court in McAllen in support of the Deferred Action for Parents of Americans, or DAPA. And here in the Valley, the case has less to do with politics and more to do with keeping families together. You can hear the pain in Roberta Teo's voice as she tries to explain to CBS4 how her family could stay together if the courts rule in favor of DAPA. My kids are always asking when they get out of school, Mommy, where is Dad? When is he coming home? I want to be with my husband and my kids together so when my kids wake up every morning, they see their dad. Children like Josue Aldape, whose parents are both in the United States illegally, hope for a day when his entire family can go on a trip together. If we get those papers for our family, we could travel, have a bunch of fun together, go to, like, how everybody wants to go Legoland, Miami beaches, and it will be wonderful. For now, families just like these will have to wait until the courts announce a ruling in June or July on whether their families can stay or will need to leave the United States. In McAllen, Freddie Vela, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Presidential candidate Hillary Clinton also weighing in on the DAPA DACA ruling, tweeting, quote, no child should have to live in fear of losing their parents to deportation, end quote. 